Okay, I'm testing out my intro. I hope you liked it. Um, what I'm going to talk about in this video is Gino 2.0, um, the Gino Graphic Project. This is the thing I sent away for, away for um, from National Geographic. This thing was $200. And basically what it does is it maps out your genome and it, it tells you what uh, geographic regions you're from like your ancestors are from. Um, inside, this has the uh, participant ID and you uh, to log on to the site, uh, you enter that ID and uh, you can be on there anonymously or you can you can be as open as you want about that and uh, since I'm pretty open about everything, uh, I'm not anonymous on there. Um, and they give you this booklet I don't know if I can show that very well. Um, kind of explains everything about the the project. This is the second version of it. I'll tell you in a second why it's this what's different about the first one and the second one. But this just kind of explains like um, so it's got pictures and things. Explains uh, exactly what it does. Um, they take your DNA and they show you what percentage, I can't point right, I guess, what percentage um, of different uh, types of people you are and, and what regions of the world your ancestors came from. Um, here's a picture of that. But the cool thing about this version uh, the 2.0 is that, I don't know if you can see this, Neanderthal DNA and Denisovan DNA. Who Neanderthals are were uh, ancient human race that lived at the same time as ancient ancient mankind. Um, they were, lived mainly in Europe and Asia. And uh, they thought that they died off, but... It turns out that ancient humans actually mated with Neanderthals, and we have some of their DNA. Um, so far, they've only found a small percentage of that DNA. I don't know if that means that there's only that small percentage of that DNA in us today, or that most of our DNA is so similar, Neanderthal and uh, human, that maybe it just doesn't show up. Uh, the Denisovans, on the other hand, were another human race that lived at the same time as Neanderthals and ancient humans, but they lived in Siberia. And uh, they found a couple knuckle bones of uh, these humans, and they the DNA is very similar to Neanderthal and to, to humans. And they actually discovered that Papua New Guineans have small trace amounts of Denisovan DNA in them. Um, so anyway, it's pretty exciting that any one of us could have Neanderthal or Denisovan DNA in us today. There was a fourth human re race actually that lived at the same time, uh, Floresiensis, I believe she was called. Um, they found on the Isle of Flores in, I think it's Indonesia, um, could be Malaysia, a lot of islands down there. Anyway, there was a, a, a fourth human race that was miniature, and uh, they, they nicknamed it the Hobbit, but she actually um, didn't have dwarfism. She was actually uh, a miniature human being. Um, it's fascinating that she lived at the same time as three other human races. So anyway... Um, how they get they get the DNA from us is they have these cheek swabs here, and uh, you you take them out of here. I actually have part of it here. On this, there was kind of a a little swab, kind of shaped like a tooth toothbrush. And you take it and you'd uh, swab the inside of your cheek for 45 seconds. And then there was a thing on the end here. You take, um, I don't know if you can see that. It says vial. There was a vial there. And you take it. 
and you put the thing in the vial and you twist the cap on and then you take another one and you do the other side and uh, put that in a vial and uh, close it up and then put it in an envelope and mail it off um, and that's how they get our DNA anyway this the reason I'm telling you this is because I got an email telling me that they're now analyzing my DNA they got my my DNA they uh, isolated it and now they're analyzing it so I'd say in the next two weeks or so that uh, I'll be able to know where my ancestors are from and whether or not I have Neanderthal or Denisovan DNA which I think is pretty cool <laughs> anyway I gotta go to bed so have a good night